Hey you guys, um, this is the video of us cleaning and forfeiting the frame out here on the 1976 Dodge truck. Turned out pretty good. I will be using 415 in the future. It's a really good product. I um, think that it really looks decent and it holds up nice. So I will be using that like the Malibu, the Skylark, other friends around here. Um, so there's that. I say what all you need to do it if you want to do it. And it, it turned out pretty nice. Uh, so I'll bring you guys back for the next installment. We're putting the bed on, this cab on, stuff like that. Um, so enjoy the video. Here's some of the parts over here. This is the control arms. Control arms. I actually bought a tool to pull these out so we can replace the ball joints for the guy. Never mind that carburetor. Here's the spool. Here's the spindles. They look really, really good. There's a spring. More parts for that. That's his rotors. His power steering pump. Or box, not pump. Um, other than that, it's just assembling that stuff as soon as the rest of the parts come in. And I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of the putting the front end together and all that. We'll just bring you guys back when we're putting this cab or painting this cab. We have to paint this before it can go on and before... And for that engine can go in there. Never mind the bag we were cleaning, and that's what we used to water out of the block. Um, won't be doing anything tomorrow. I'm actually going to pick up a C body rear end, which I might do a video on the car because I think you guys would find it cool about the car. Um, I'm pulling out my local junkyard for 75 bucks. It's a eight three quarter out of a 67 Chrysler Newport, I do believe. Um, same car that that. Not that engine, but it's 383 in a previous video. I got the cranking rods out of Ford's crank. It has an eight and three quarter in it. The car's almost rusted in half. They're going to crush the car. So I'm going to buy the rend. And I did some reading on forms, and it says that I can actually, so if anybody knows this, I can actually put that rear end underneath my truck with very little modifications. My Dodge truck. I think it would be cool. So let me know if you guys have heard anything about that or if it's physically possible too long. Either way, I'm going to buy it, just have it sitting around. So, thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And you guys will either be back on the next one with this truck here, this cab, maybe the Dart, because I've got a bunch of stuff here for you. Um, either way, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, Poor 15 is a really good product. Um, but if you're going to buy it, unless you're doing a very small job, buy the gallon. The gallon of Poor 15, the gallon of this crap here. And the gallon of uh, cleaner degreaser comes in a set, it's like 200 bucks. But you can brush it on. You can also spray it, I think, through a, air, through a paint gun. But you can brush it on, and it looks really, really good. As long as your prep works really, really good, it does bond to rust. But we took this one out of bare metal because it had paint on it. Uh, so I had previously painted it, and he wanted it done right. So that's what we did. So enough rambling. Here's the video. Enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I hit 100, I've hit 105, and I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys watch this crap because, really, it's kind of boring, I think. But as long as you guys watch it, I'm going to keep doing it. So thank you guys for watching. Tell a friend. See you guys next time.
15 metal prep this frame. Get ready to go. Well, as you guys can see, we got some poor 15. We still have to put another coat on it. And do the that side. But it looks pretty nice. I will say. I'm already impressed with it. It is expensive, but it uh looks really good. All right, you guys, the frame is painted with 415. Turned out pretty good. Um, highly recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but if you do the work right, it lays out like glass. It looks like powder coating. Um, over here's the rear axle. It looks pretty good. I mean, I'm quite impressed. Now, with poor, poor 15, something I didn't know, but if you watch the video, you'll know, is you buy the product either in a kit or by itself, and then you have to buy this stuff metal prep and there's also a cleaner and degreaser you have to buy never mind that that's actually 415 off my freaking face so um so you have to buy that i recommend buying the gallon set the gallon kit comes with a gallon of 415 a big thing and a gallon of the degreaser and the metal prep uh don't buy the small things. They don't really last. And if you're doing a big front, like a frame, maybe if you're doing like one control arm or something small, a little thing would come in any. But if you're doing a full frame, I highly recommend a gallon of everything. A gallon of pour 15, a gallon of metal prep, and a gallon of cleaner and degreaser. Stuff works really good. You brush it on. Um, you do two coats. Once you brush it on, it looks like, kind of like powder coating. It's really cool. Um, and as long as you do your your metal prep right before you paint it will look like glass smooth and good um highly recommend it we are going to come back later tonight and put the leaf springs on and get this back as a roller put that bed on this frame i can't put control arms on yet because he still needs to buy a few things for those. But it's getting there. Um, we'll be back on this hopefully by Monday. I'll get the floor pan back in this. I'll get the rest of the stuff ordered that I need. The matte clear coat for this. And then we'll get the inside of the engine bay painted. And the engine's finally in it, which I'm looking forward to.